Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack Chow on the East West Show uh, with GNE TV. Uh, every Wednesday we do our weekly update. This past week, though, had been a little, relatively quieter. <laughs> well, not that many, that much things to talk about. Uh, well, that doesn't mean California take a respite. But California <laughs> never true. takes a respite. Uh, you making things funny and funnier and funnier and then funnier by every single day, right? Today, John and me is sharing with the jokes, sharing the jokes with my audience it's about California crazy laws, the crazy or hilarious or joking laws is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemi, uh, lover to the community, a man of constitution. Uh, which who upholds what he believes is right. So, True. Uh, welcome, sir, uh, to the show. Jack, I'm happy to start the greatest hour of my week every week with you and your viewers. Thank you for letting me Very be good. here. Thank you for taking for starting your week that way. No, this is this is <laughs> this is a highlight of my week. All right, good, good. And to my uh, to lots of my audiences, they say watching my show is highlight of the today. I hope so. Yeah, and mm -hmm. a lots of people say that because. Uh, they, according to them, that we make sense. Well, you know, your brain is so strong in your vision for how to communicate, you know, your thoughts and your value system with your viewers is, is marvelous. And I recommend everybody sure, look sure. at you and listen to you. I myself, as a matter of fact, is only an instrument, right? That's and right. We owe the appreciation the thanks to my great team. I Absolutely. really have a great team. All you see is whatever this little, fa this little yeah. person. Yeah. Uh, in from the camera, but behind me, behind the scene, there are lots of members who are nameless, who are Correct. faceless. They work every day, every hour of the day to make this screen yeah, make it fulfilled, possible. Yeah. make whatever possible. Uh, that said, let's give them a big hand. Yeah, media is, media is a team sport. Yeah. And there, you have a beautiful team. And also, thank you for the leadership by Mr. James So. Absolutely. Uh, who gives the, uh, always the right direction. Yeah. And there was one, there was one incident I remember, which was about the, uh, uh, the seminar of crazy, talking about crazy laws of California. Okay, yeah. That EDI sponsored. Uh, Mr. James Su made the following statement. It's not exactly his own wording. Yeah. I'm talking about the essence of it. Yes. He says, normally, media does not take a stand. Okay, right. right. However, when it comes to black and white, yeah. right, we do have to take a stand because in my eye, we want to be a responsible media. Absolutely, right. Yeah. You so, want to report the, the truth, yeah. but... Uh, exactly. Yeah. So, once again, today, we want to play responsible media. <laughs> yes, sir. We <laughs> do right. our best. Uh, sharing with you about crazy laws of California. So, uh, of course, by sharing the crazy laws, you could probably not help laughing uh, moment to moment. But behind the laughing, though, we really want to ask a question. Why would people, I mean, legislators, create such law, they have to have That's, a ground, right? Yeah. They have to have a logic. What the laws do you have that will make us a laugh, please? Well, a lot of these are, are laws that are local Starting to certain the, cities, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. and, and it's actually quite amazing <coughs> me. if you think that some of these things we'll mention today actually do exist. Mm -hmm. Because it makes no mm -hmm. common sense, it has no value as a law, and, mm -hmm. and yet it's in writing, and I, I don't know how many are enforced. However, in Chico, California, it is against the law to bowl on a sidewalk. You know what it means. Now, you know what a bowling alley is, okay? Yeah, you okay? mean bowling, right? Yeah, so, so it must mean somebody did that sometime, and maybe it ran over a little baby carriage or something, okay? But, but that, that we can't conceive of anything ever being done like that, but it, it came from, the genesis of this came from some place that must have had an activity. And, and, then, and then how they let it continue to be in existence rather than just repeal a, a ridiculous law. 
I just don't understand it. All right? Yeah. So your laws are talking about the majorities, right? Yeah. Laws. They have to be paid. Laws I mean, passed. are talking about majority. Right. Right. So, for example, uh, when you go to office, majority about ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the people will wear something. Yeah. Will conform. Yeah. In a way. Will wear something. Yeah. Will cover the naked body. Right. Right. So. Does that mean that we can say we can create a law that when once you come to work, you must not go naked? Well, in later on in here, you'll see something along those lines too. Yeah. It's really quite amazing. I am really talking about logic. Yeah, you have to, as a legislature of a state, great state of California, mm -hmm. you're supposed to have some brain functioning group of people to make laws that make sense, right? Once upon a time, in a thousand years, there was one guy who started bowling on a, on a walkway. Uh-huh. All right? Yeah. On a pedestrian walkway. Yeah. Pavement walkway whatsoever. Yeah. That's 0.00001% of it. Right. So you move, motivate the whole legislature to put it in writing, black and white, a law. Right. Going a process, whole process of uh, writing a bill, yeah. having to vote in. Voting on, yeah, uh, right. Voting again. Right. The two houses are voting back and forth. Yeah. And uh, send it to governor's desk, and governor has to take at least one minute to sit down to sign it. Yeah. Go make it into law, going in the process, at the cost of the voters' money. That's true. To make a law that make this little sense. Right. That makes no no common practical reason for it to exist. To the common sense, right. this is a joke, right? Am I right? You know, both even at the national level, Jack, there's some things that go pass through Congress. Uh, I mean, like, you know, $3 million or something to watch the development of the left wing of a fly, you know, to see if it f flies in circles and stuff. I mean, they do things that are absolutely insane okay for some of these many things that cost a lot of money they study things that are not worth the time uh i want to make make it clear to my audience is that at this position as a show host i do want to say that i do not go against the legal system no no we don't of i course. am talking about as a healthy legal system uh -huh. you have to have laws at least that make some sense I mean, common sense. Right, right. Most of the time, common sense. Right. right. Like I said, even if once upon a time, within a thousand years whatsoever, somebody would go to work naked. Uh -huh. Right. You. That doesn't mean that you can make a law. You can motivate the whole thing by using voters' money, taxpayers' money, to create a law. Say it is forbidden. It is illegal to go work naked. Only it mentions okay. the Trump. All right, okay. And that's, right. it's, that's so, pretty crazy. So some of the stores, they might do so. They might have done so already. Yeah. So they play not not the musical drum, yeah. uh, the trumpet, yeah. talking about the They're making some that other kind noise. of thing. Those toy, toy trump, the trumpet, that kind of thing, make some kind of noise to to draw attention. Right, to the location. To lure you to yeah, the lure them commercial in. activity whatsoever. Right. right. That could make some sense. Now, one thing, what you see nowadays, I just thought about this right now, out in front of like, a, I'm a CPA, you know, a, 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 we do taxes or something, or laundries or something, There's, they've got kids out there swinging these signs around, mm. which is really pollution, <laughs> Visu oh, visual is. pollution. It is. It is. And I don't, I don't think that ought to be allowed. Now, you know, maybe it's freedom of speech, <laughs> I don't know. I, Jokingly, I don't... There's, a, there's a logic in there, right? Okay. Now, if you say... If you sell a, bun, a bunch of flowers, like a bouquet, mm -hmm. by the side of the road, though, that oh, yeah. somewhere, somehow, makes some sense. Yeah. While waiting for a traffic light, they'll stick some bill out and right. they get a bunch of flowers for $5, $10. That makes some sense, right? You know, for one thing, I bet you, I bet my life that there's been a guy on a corner with one of those signs they're flipping around in, in some car right into another car because he's visually yes, distracted. Yes, exactly. That and is... What, a, what doesn't make sense to me is yeah. that uh, somebody flipping around a little air thing yeah. that says insurance. Yeah, right. Car insurance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Causes a car wreck. Right. You're talking... <laughs> You're yeah. talking about momentum. Yeah. Nobody is, is kind of a, 
buying any insurance in the momentum. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 You say a, yeah. a big house or an open house or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Nobody buys a house in the momentum. No. I buy two of them. Okay, yeah. let's go, let's let's buy five pounds of houses. Yeah, right. 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 So those are hilarious though. Yeah. But I can see this because really your eyes are distracted when, yes. when there's someone's flipping those you signs are. around yes. and you have to be a little more careful. Very good. Hey, wait. My dear That's friends, cool. let's take a very short moment out. Today with me is my dear friend Ken Hemming and we're sharing uh, with you some of the Californian most hilarious laws and about the majority, big, big majority of which do not make sense. That's Stay right. with us. Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow on the East West Show with JD TV with my friend Ken Hemming. We're sharing some jokes of uh, California laws. When we say jokes, I believe that uh, we're not exaggerating. Right. I mean, by some we're extent, not. it is uh, past the legal limit becoming a entertaining piece. That's true. And some of them, some of the laws are very entertaining because you couldn't help laughing about them, right? Such as this. Well, here now in, uh -huh. uh, uh, in Fresno, California, mm -hmm. permanent markers cannot be sold anywhere within the city limits of Fresno. Now, Jack and I try to see how, what, what would the motivation have been you know, for, for someone to make this know. law. Well, the only thing I could come up with is maybe they think these permanent markers could be used for graffiti. However, but if permanent you, markers can be used for something good. So absolutely something good. But also then, all, you know, it doesn't say you can't bring permanent markers into the city from other cities. Uh, so it really can't accomplish anything. Maybe if, if a person have e evil intent with, a per with to use a marker inappropriately, uh, they'll get it done. It might just be a little bit more inconvenient. I don't think so. Uh, even if somebody did use the permanent markers for graffiti, yeah. you can't make a law to forbid the sales of it. For the convenience of the citizens of the yeah. Fresno, if they happen to need a permanent marker for something positive, uh -huh. well, sure. either they have to buy elsewhere or they have to steal or they can they can rob somebody else. Oh you can yeah, they can do a lot. But uh, it's right? just real silly to have something like that. It doesn't that. mean. Okay. If somebody is choked is choked by an egg while eating an egg. Yeah. Do you make a law say it is illegal to eat sell eggs? eggs? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Or sell eggs? Right. Yeah. Because somebody dies of it. Well, see, when they pass this law, there's stores in town like Osh or whatever that would have to go through and say, "Okay, do we have permanent markers? We can't sell them anymore." And you take it out of inventory. It's an, it's and crazy. Did they get a chance to hear uh, how the constituents, good question, the voters? feedback with such a laws. Well, you know, I'll the creation of the laws. I'll say this and you might disagree with this is that quite often city councils or those that put the laws on for cities love the power they have to create laws and really don't also remember they work for the citizens just like our national government does sometimes. They forget they they get Atta att attracted to power. That's true. That's exactly yeah. true. Yeah, I am really That's talking quite about it because yeah. at the very beginning we say we want to go back behind the laws to exactly to the moment when they tried to create the laws. Right. What what kind of a mindset? Yeah. That, that they are in. Yeah. What makes them? What was the motivation for them to create the laws? That was the thing yeah. that we want to find out. My dear audience, we have something better. Yeah, now here's a real good one. We have a beautiful city called Arcadia, California, and there's the Arboretum in Arcadia mm -hmm. that has many, many peacocks in it, and they can run all around the city. They yeah. move around the city. Mm -hmm. So peacocks have the right of way when crossing the street, including your driveway in Arcadia. Nobody yeah. wants to back over a peacock. It's happened, I'm sure. Right. And they're beautiful birds. You know, when they open up their feathers, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they're just beyond yeah. gorgeousness. That's the one that makes lots of sense. I support that. I, I, yeah, I support mm -hmm. it. It, it, it. It does make sense. And of course, that a lot of people that just are driving through the city, they don't have any idea that's a exactly. law in that city. Exactly. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. but, but still, if you if you run over a peacock you're gonna you're gonna have a fine now you can see 
right? Uh, we are we are reasonable people. Mm -hmm. Well, the fact that we are reasonable it stays in the fact that when something is good, we really want to say it's good. Yeah, right. When something is bad, we say it's bad. Right. Right. There's a foundation. If you yeah. If you compare the peacock laws with the uh, permanent marker laws. Right. Right. So. Right. So. Comes it from could different tell. Mentals. It could tell. Yeah. This is 180 degrees yeah. from going each other. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So. You're okay. right. What's your name? Here's a beautiful one. Yeah. Now this is really good because I used to have a beard for 20 years. Okay. Uh -huh. I yeah. trimmed it all nice, but it, it's a, in in Eureka, California. It is against the law for a man with a mustache to kiss a woman. So I don't know, they must have a very low birth rate or something in Eureka. I don't know, well. I mean, they have that, it's right. It's, Eureka of California? Yeah, yeah. What if they are, they are a married couple? It, that's the, the law. The definition of a man-woman right. includes husband and wife. Correct, it does. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Right. You can't say they are husband and wife, though, so they are excluded because when we're in the parameter of the law. No, realm. right, right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So uh, The you know, statue is right there. You can't kiss a woman when you have a beard. A mustache. A mustache. mustache. Yeah, right. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know what the old days are, but it might have been put in a long time ago for some reason. And then they, I think very few governments or city governments or national governments go through and say, let's review the laws we have and let's get rid of ones that make no sense anymore. That and people just are too, governments are too lazy to, to reduce their own legal, their, their own laws. Uh, even but though they're really not this appropriate thing, anymore. This thing, all right, for the permanent marker laws, yeah, yeah. right? For the uh, bowling on the on the walkway laws, yeah. you can always always figure out. Once upon a time, there was somebody bowling on walkway. Sure. Once upon Had a time, to be a reason. somebody used a permanent marker to write on a wall, yeah. especially when it's a white wall. Use a permanent marker, right? Right. So. That probably gives you, that will probably give you some ground of understanding. Oh, yeah, good. Excusable, right? This yeah. thing for a man with uh, a massage. It's very popular nowadays, of course. You to, know. To, to kiss a woman. It's and they, they, don't, they don't even say on the street. No, no, no. Period. Yeah. Period. It's insane. Right? Yeah. So in their, in their home, their own privacy, well, or in the room whatsoever with a roof, yeah. with walls whatsoever, and they did not even give a definition between what kind of man and what kind of woman, right? Right, yeah, right, right. That's true. Well, crazy. It was crazy. Crazy enough. Now, here's a, this is it for, because in the beaches in Los Angeles, okay, mm. uh, you are not allowed to throw a Frisbee, which are those things that fly in the air. They're, mm. they're like a the dish. Yeah, dish. Uh, a plate, uh, without a plate. without the getting the approval of a lifeguard. The, now, the, the flying the flying dish, yeah, what they call right. Now, of course, you know, like I've been hit in the head with somebody else's frisbee mm -hmm. flying around. Okay, those things happen, but nobody gets really hurt by it. Uh, but you have to get supposedly the appro approval of a lifeguard to play with your frisbee. Yeah. Well, whatever. That makes sense. Well, it, Californians are fragile. Well, so, it might take you an hour to find a lifeguard, too. And so I'd say go ahead and play. Okay. All right. Or go, go ahead and not play. Yeah, or go ahead right. and not play. Not play. Well, that makes little sense or something. Now, here's one uh, that makes no sense, okay, mm -hmm. in, in Hollywood. Uh, in Hollywood, it's illegal to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard at once. Now, 2,000 is a lot of sheep. That would fill the street up, okay? Uh, <laughs> and I don't know where that came from, from the movie days or something or other, but it's illegal to, to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard at once. Now, we've got some, look, I know what a sheep looks like. On Hollywood Boulevard, you've got a lot of people that look a lot worse than a sheep. It's a very <laughs> freaky boulevard, okay? What if you drive <laughs> 1,999 sheep? Then you better keep count. Yes, and uh, d not drop a baby. So I'm not, no more I'm, baby sheep. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going uh, exceed the two thousand. Right. Well, that is really something that uh, it's once like, again we need to go. No, no, no. We yeah. need to go find out at what time. Do we know uh, what time or when? When was this law created? Uh, well, I didn't go to the research of origination on these. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I went into Google, you know, and, you know, and, you know, give me a list that I got. There's 
tons of lists of, of irrational, foolish laws in all over the country, but we live in California, we're focused on that. Mm. But it's like unbelievable. This is, this is totally irrational because uh, you're talking about, okay, now I got one for Florida. Yes, sir. Uh, in Tampa, Florida, it is illegal to park an elephant Clear. on the street. Yeah, I believe that. Right? Yeah. So who is going to, nowadays, yeah. who is going to ride an elephant, number one question. Right. Right? It's not and Bangkok. How, do you, how <laughs> yeah. do you ever park an elephant? Well, yeah, how do you know if it's standing there or it's parked? The right. motor's not running. Right. <laughs> you know? An elephant, you can't park an elephant because yeah. an elephant can, can pull out an electrical pole. Anytime he wants, yeah. Anytime he wants, yeah. right? So those are the crazy laws that probably uh, led to uh, some historical event. Somebody did park an elephant and it caused some accident, right? This thing, probably the same thing that once upon a time, 1,000 years ago, whatsoever, somebody did drive well, a, 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 a hearse of 2,000 sheep. Perhaps. On, 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 the, on the boulevard. On right? Hollywood. Maybe for a movie. Who knows? Right. Okay, now, again, it goes back to your point. Why would the city council members well, Why? sit together sometime Hey guys, let's right. go over. Let's cancel some laws. Spend their yeah right. I that, I wish they would. They they should have. Remember, remember, uh, first month or second month when Donald Trump took office. Oh he, yeah. He made a, a requirement that if you create a laws, you have to cancel five or something for regulations. Yeah. For regulations right. or whatsoever. And now right? he said that you, to, to have a new regulation, you got to get rid of two regulations. Uh -huh. But he now has really for a new regulation, he's gotten rid of twenty, a twenty to one ratio, which uh -huh. is good. See these regulations, Jack. This is kind of off the subject, but very, but, but very pertinent though. They're they're just to create the power base for government to have more you know, joy out of their own power and expressing their power over other people's lives. Of course, and, of course, and so, of course. So uh, in many, of the, in, in particularly like in the area of, of what's available to fight uh, disease. Yeah, yeah. Okay. government has the power, right? But the point is that why can't we use the government power to get rid of those irrational laws? Because they don't want to waste their time. And Sans it's not a waste of time. Senseless laws. Right. But it wastes the time also to create laws like that. Right. To create a no Good point. permanent no permanent marker laws does it cost time? Right, of course. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. To create a no boating on uh, on walkway laws. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, so right. Oh yeah. Then it costs time too. Yeah. Why don't they use the same time uh, wasted or squandered on making those crazy laws to get get rid of some of the crazy laws? You know. It is really, really down to one point. Where are you pushing? Well, then I think I think it really boils down to that they're more interested in exercising the power they have uh, than they are in diminishing the power. Regardless of what they do, I agree. Yeah. All right, good. Totally. Now here, well, let's a take a short moment, short moment out. We come back for more, my dear friends. The fun goes on. Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audience. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow on the East West Show with Jane ETV. Uh, today, with my good friend Ken Hamming, we're having a wonderful moment share, oh, yeah. uh, sharing with you with the hilarious laws of California that, uh, well, of course, you're laughing all the time, I know. And the fun, like I said, it goes on and on and on. What's your next, please? Well, this is pretty cool. In California, it's illegal for animals to mate hmm. uh, within 1,500 feet of a school or a place of worship. All right. Now, mm -hmm. number one, who comes up with 1,500 feet, okay? And, and two, who can tell an animal not to kiss each other? I mean, it's pretty hard to tell an animal, but, 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 you know. But when it is illegal, though, who you punish? The animal or who? Very good. Yeah. Uh, well, who? maybe if you if two people are walking their dogs, one's a boy, one's a girl, and they and they like each other, then maybe you get a fine to the people. Uh, oh, that, the owner. Yeah. The owner of the animal. Perhaps. Yeah. You know, Cam, that I I, I find myself in support with. Uh huh. All right. 
I tell you my own life yeah, experiences. Yeah, you did. That's, yeah. When yeah. we were young, uh, we were, uh, in my case, sent exiled by Mao Zedong yeah. to the remote area called the Jiqing Movement. Yeah. Right? About 27 million of us were <laughs> kind of like uh, and one whip of the, uh, of the moment, yeah. uh, driven to the countryside, remote, far, far remote areas yeah. to live or die on our own, by right. our own. Right, right, right. Makes me very sad. That year, I was 17. Yeah. Right now, I remember exactly a specific moment when a bunch of us, kid, right, mm -hmm. first saw horse mating. Right. It was such a moment, I yeah. found my virgin mind not my, my not the actual virginity. I'm talking yeah. about my virgin mind. Yeah, your pure mind. Destroyed, ruined, for the rest of my life. I've been Starting always uncomfortable when I've seen animals hugging yeah. each other. I'm always uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, I don't want to. I find myself in support of it. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah, will go for it's, it. It's okay. pretty wild. Next, please. No, here's a great one. Mm. Uh, th actually, this is so ridiculous, it's hard even to say. In, in Fresno, it's against the law to annoy a lizard in a city park. Now, this all kind of goes down to, uh, you know, the animal rights people and that, where, where you know, we're in their, we're on their planet. They were here, some, a lot of them before us, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're not, so, you know, nobody really wants to annoy things, but still, to have a law that you can't, you know, shoo away or or harass a, a lizard in a city park is uh, that that I agree. I'm that speechless. I agree. I agree. That that, I'm that, that goes to the uh, same. Uh, I mean, same ground. Yeah. Like the peacock law in Arcadia. Yeah. Right. Right. It's right. for yeah, right. for animal protection. Yeah. For 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 other species to respect or whatsoever. Now, right? of course, you know. Especially those outnumbered. Yeah. Those being outnumbered, that's, right? Okay. That's a good point. Right, good. All right. So, to not annoy them, not tease them, mm -hmm. right? So, that makes some sense. Yeah. And of course, there's a lot of other animals in the city park, too. So, why didn't they say or, you know, all or animals? You, or at least if you do, you get hurt. Yeah. Lizard does bite. They can, sure. Yeah. They eat they can, something, right. yeah, they, yeah, and it could be your finger. Right, sure, it could be your That's finger, right? right? Now, okay, he, here's something. What else you have? This is so crazy. In Blythe, which is a nice, very hot city in California, mm -hmm. you are not allowed to wear cowboy boots unless you own at least two cows. <laughs> now, that's pretty freaky. I guess one for each boot. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> that I don't understand, because I no. wear I have cowboy beautiful. boots all the time. I love cowboy boots. Right. I have uh, two beautiful pairs. Very comfortable. One black, one gold. Yeah. So I love them. Yeah. So if uh, if I'm in that city, it is illegal. Yeah. Why? Unless you Once again, why? Why? N number one, why not? Number two, why cows? Number three, right. why exactly two cows? Well, Jack, you know, what's interesting is the word why uh, is always a good question, and often there is no answer for that question. There is no why. It just happens, comes out of <laughs> somewhere. And so that's a very, see, because why is a really very, very, you know, we ask each other why all the time when we're doing shows in that. Uh, and, and yet some, and we normally have an answer for the whys. But a lot of times you hit, you hit the right question, there's no answer. Yeah. Of course, I remember my son, both of my sons, have the habit of asking why. Yeah. And I was so tired of that. Why yeah, yeah, that yeah, many yeah, yeah. whys? Yeah, right. Well, this is it. Right, right. There's no why. Yeah. Why that many whys? Yeah. But that did not satisfy them because they, they believed there got to be a why. Yeah. Right? There yeah. got to be a why. But this thing, we're not asking a why by, by playing child. Right? Right. We're asking why because we want to think rationally. Yeah. We want to think rationally, yeah. right? If you do rationally, though, why people cannot wear cowboy boots? Because they're good. Well, maybe they didn't want citizens that are not farmers to wear cowboy boots, uh, which, is, which is crazy. Well, okay. who does it it's hurt? It's a fashion who statement. Who does it hurt when people wear cowboy boots? Well, they kick you, each other? 
They have pretty strong points on them. Yeah, <laughs> they could hurt. But yes, it's just, it hurts wearing, nobody. I've been wearing that all my life. I've never kicked anyone. Right, I know that. Right. right. No one's kicked you, I hope. And then why do I have to have cows? There's no reason. And why do I have to have at least two cows? There's no reason. Now, you want another cool one? You want something good? I'm not crazy. Crazy. Some of this, all of the the whole thing didn't come uh-huh. out, but in 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 Chico, okay, mm-hmm. uh, it is uh, detonating a nuclear device when within the city limits will result in a five hundred dollar fine. Detonating a nuclear yeah, device. Yeah. Detonating a nuclear device within the city limit will result in a five hundred dollar fine. Do you have a nuclear device? And everybody device? dead. Do you have a nuclear device? I don't have, I don't have any device. It's so... It's, if somebody... I'm blushing I, right now. <laughs> if somebody has a, a nuclear device... <laughs> it's, it's, it's just crazy. The guy, the guy must be rich. <laughs> You're right. All right. And dangerous. All right. It's, it's, and but, and, uh, and can, can Kim Jong-un oh. been trying for... For almost well, oh yeah, to a get generation a nuclear. after generation, right? Yeah, uh, to to get a nuclear device, yeah. right? And it caused them to be so poor, the whole country, Korea, to 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 be so poor, the very costly thing, and yet they will be afraid of five hundred of a, of a fine. See, and here's something real interesting. The, can I tell you this other one? It's a very interesting. No, no, I'm not okay. done with that. Yeah, okay. okay. I am talking about. Yeah. I'm still thinking. Totally, I'm still thinking. Yeah. Number one, probably you and I had the wrong impression of a nuclear device. Probably there are smart. other. The definition of a nuclear devices could, could could mean something else, something in my pocket. It, it could whatever nuclear can be. The word nuclear can be applied to could be possibly correct what you're saying. I don't have nothing nuclear on me. No. My lighter? No. This is a gas lighter, that's it. That's not a nu- nuclear. It's not nuclear. And uh, for designating, for, for uh, ignite. Detonating, yeah, right. Uh, for ignite, for ignite though, Yeah. there's nothing I can think of that I can ignite that has nuclear properties or quality in it. Yeah. Well, in a well, city uh, other than it's in a, a, in which city a, a malicious Chico? way. Chico. In which city yeah. Chico? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Pretty interesting. Now, right. here's a great one. This, this is, this is a, a law that pr- probably was made before what I'll tell you it could apply to right now. Mm-hmm. And it says that, that it is, uh, a, if there is a vehicle without a driver, it is not allowed to go more than 60 miles an hour. Now, see, now that we have driverless vehicles with some of these things, this could make sense. Mm. But, uh, but I'm sure this wasn't created when we had these driverless vehicles, which have killed some people already. I'll never sit in a driverless car, okay, that you rely on technology. No, no, no. I couldn't do it. This law was created, was created before Yeah, the, before. Before driverless cars Be, yeah, well, yeah. Became, became, became known. Yeah, right. Am I? Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Now you're talking about there are uh, driverless cars. Yeah. Not everywhere, but there are some, right? There are some. So it's time to cancel that law, not resume that law. Am I no, right? No, maybe it's time to enforce it because if it's a driverless car, which does exist, it probably shouldn't be going more than 60 miles an hour. So it's kind of all interesting, but it's all silly. But, it's but driverless cars going 60 miles an hour, that's what they designed for. Well, that. Uh, That's what. Well, designed I, it's, for. I don't think it's speci- specifically designed for speed, but it's designed for transportation purposes. But it's now here's a good one too. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, f- let's see, forty <laughs> persons waiting to. Oh. Oh, oh all persons uh, waiting. Oh, wanting to keep a rhinoceros uh, in, in their in their home around their property uh, must obtain a one hundred dollar uh, license. To own a rhinoceros. I didn't get it. That's what like is that? a, okay. What a is rhinoceros it? is a huge animal. Uh-huh. Yeah, you you have to have a license, which costs hundred dollars, if you want to own a, a, a rhinoceros. Now we do have dog licenses, which mo- some people ignore, but many people have, mm. and that costs something too. But but I don't think there's very many rhinoceros pets in the United States. So or it's just, yeah, could be a leopard. 
Could be anything. It's but could it's, be a line, it's right? just crazy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. All right, this is, is important for all you men out there, okay? Mm -hmm. That uh, it is illegal for a man to beat his wife with a strap wider than two inches without her permission. Holy, holy cow. <laughs> holy, holy cow. I'm not making this up. Okay. <laughs> It is illegal for a man to beat his wife with the strap wider than two inches without getting her permission. Oh, if the wife says, yes, go ahead and Oh, beat that's me, okay then, yeah. That's okay. I guess, yeah. Right. Is that crazy? Well, but, but could be those uh, submersive couples. Yeah, right. Could they, be, could a little, they like that. A little kinky. They do it for for their own play. Right. For a sex play whatsoever. Whatever right? play, yeah. Right. They, they prefer to do, to do that. But but point is that okay. It is all dependent. Hold on, yeah. hold on. It yeah. all depends on the wife. Is the wife does or does not agree, right? If yes. wife does, why does anything make sense to if it's one in, what, two inch or 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 one one well, one point nine inches makes a bigger welt on on her body, I guess. But also, it's sort of saying it's okay to beat your wife with the strap if it, if it's less than two inches, which is of course insanity. It is illegal or illegal or not? Is it legal or not? Why does the width make sense? Well, probably just different. for the damage that can be done. It, 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 it will touch more of her body than a, a, a thin one. But it's just it's just really. But you can use a wider one, hit hit lighter. You can oh, yeah, use you can a narrower one. You can do it all kinds of things. Right. Uh, no, no, it doesn't make sense at all. What well, else? Here's a have? nice one. Okay, it is in, in a certain city. It's illegal to spit within five feet of some other person. To spit. To spit on the ground within five feet of some somebody right, else. That make, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, unless you want your shoe shined and spit mm -hmm. on my shoe and then wipe it off. Okay. All right, that makes but, sense. But that it, makes it, it sense, is pretty. Yes. It uh, is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh, what's this restroom? Okay. Uh, one. What? One, 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 one may not, one may not use one's own restroom. Oh, one may not use one's one's own restroom if the window is open. Holy cow! Okay, you're I not. I don't get it. I don't okay, get it. say you're in a house and you got a bathroom and it's got a window. You are not supposed to in this city. You're not supposed to use your uh, your own toilet, your own bathroom, uh, if the window's open. Uh, so, regardless of uh, what, of, uh, of a high window or low window, right, right. Well, where the window is. Maybe it's to restrict noise or whatever. But anyway, it's silly as heck. Okay. Okay. Anyway, these things are phenomenal. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I believe we have no, enough on so, the hilarious. Yeah, ones. we so do. Let's take a short moment out, and we come back for more. However, this time when we come back, we want to go more towards the uh, those areas that make some more sense rather than you just laugh about it. Yeah, right? that is so, insensible. My dear friends, we will be back right away. Hello, dear friends. Love the audience, and welcome back. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, relaxing moment, because yeah. <laughs> we uh, entertain ourselves by playing with some of the uh, interesting or hilarious California laws. Some of the laws uh, went beyond the, uh, the limit of uh, rational thinking, mm -hmm. well, they go way, 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 way down south that uh, doesn't even make some common sense at all. Mm -hmm. So with me, my friend Ken Hamming, we're having lots of good time. What else? We have room for one more. Here's a very interesting one, Jack. Very interesting, and you're going to react to it. In California, you know, they have hate laws, okay, mm -hmm. where you call it hate crimes, and you, you get a little bit more punishment if, if you perform a hate crime. Mm -hmm. But in California, it is impossible to have a hate crime legally perpetrated against a white male straight person. Okay, a white straight male, uh, uh, you can do anything to it. It will never be designated a hate crime. There could be a hate crime against the female, of course, against whatever, all kind of, uh, that, that, because the whole law never, never brings Does in. Does that mean a white male straight, a yeah. white straight male? male is never hated? No, no, it can be hated all the time, but it, it will never be de designated a hate crime if the crime is perpetrated against a white straight male. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I don't, I don't. Logically, it's the truth. Logically, yeah. it doesn't come uh, on my radar. There is no logic. Because, uh, because hate can happen to anybody. Well, 
Of course. Right? So it makes no sense at all. Like, I mean, it's just I actually... Can be, I can be hated just for the way I look. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right? You can be hated just by the way you talk. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, that's true. And you, you white or black, yeah, straight or right. whatsoever. But the law does not, does not incorporate a white straight male as potentially a victim of a hate crime, which is absolute insanity. I don't understand California anymore. I don't either. Right, so I don't either. Uh, let's well, move. Let's move <laughs> on to some bigger areas that yes, we are even more lost, right? Yeah. Back about uh, four years ago, something, four years ago, there came the uh, AB 109 laws, okay. right? That's called the jail alignment okay. law, right? Because California being sued by whoever at the Supreme Court of the United States that we our jail population is uh, was by thirteen percent over. Okay. And for overcrowded. that uh, overcrowded. For that we have to realign our jails, right? And for that, instead of building more jail houses, right, right. Instead of reusing the available money, which is squandered elsewhere, such as to the bullet train or whoever, whatsoever. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. You're right? good, Jack. Okay, good. You're smart. Build to build more prison prisoners. Yeah. To hold the to hold the perpetrators from attacking us anymore. Yes, sir. Any further, we. I mean. California made a law to let the prisoners go. Yeah. And our beloved governor, Jim Brown, signed that into law. So all of a sudden, we start to see more than 20,000 of convicted criminals, yeah. Yeah. Some, of, some of them, quite a few of them, quite a majority of them are, are felon. Oh, yeah, they're felons the if they're in prison. They're felons. On the streets, yeah. So that, well, our community safety, public safety, is at stake, and lots of people get into becoming victims. Yes. Uh, such as from officer, early release. Uh, sub, so such as uh, Officer Keith Boyer yes, of Wheater. Yes. Was killed by one of them. Absolutely. Right now. Happens and too the, often. That's not a, that's not the end of it, right? To go one step further, to make sure that those who are released does not ever have a chance to go back. Though, yeah, they made another law, which is Proposition Forty Seven, okay. to raise the threshold of uh, of, uh, of of crime from. Uh, a misdemeanor to a crime from $450 okay. to $950. Okay. You heard of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They to, to try to have more misdemeanors than than felon, felonies. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. This whole thing is to prevent them from going back to jail. Well, you see my point? Right. Right? Yes. For that purpose, they raise the elevator. Well, and that's part of the three strike law too, because then if you if it was four fifty and you stole five hundred or something, yeah, you know, then that would be one of your three strikes. Yeah, yeah. all right, you're right. It's part of. You say there is a flood outside, though. Yeah. Instead of curing the flood. Yeah. Instead of curing the flood. Yeah. We build our own own own, own uh, threshold. Right. 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 You're right. So that is how smart they are. And, and or by how the way, dumb they are. And by the way, using taxpayers' money. Yes, sir. Correct. Right? Okay, now. And further, in order to... Okay, now, there are still persistencies of those uh, law breakings, right? Oh, yeah. In order to still prevent them going back to jails, they made the three-strike laws. Yes, sir. Yeah. You have to violate laws for three times yeah, three. before you can qualify... To be arrested. 
Well, no, before you can be sentenced to the rest of your life in no, prison. No, I know. Yeah, right. I only use a different term. Oh, okay, right. I okay. only describe it in a different way. Yeah, you did. You have to qualify. Yeah. You have seniority yeah, to talk have, about. Yeah, you have to qualify. For you that. have to qualify. Right. Yeah. You have to apply. To you have evil. to qualify, yeah. right? You have seniority to, to talk about. Right. You, the university of seniority, meaning that you have be a three-time striker. Which is a career criminal, you know. It's like... Yeah. What? And then to further, still further secure them, never, ever have a chance to go back to jail, though, they make the flash incarceration laws, mm -hmm. which means they come arrest you to a moment when they really, 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 when you really qualify. Yeah, oh, right. Mr. Ken Hamming is really a wonderful, excellent criminal. Yeah, right, right. right. We awarded you with an excellent criminal, though. Yeah. Right? Here's the award. We put the, we put the medal on you. Yeah. And then we flash it. In the afternoon, you're out. Yeah, well, they, we flash, have a lot of what they call flash, catch and release Flash things. incarceration. Yeah. Professionally, they call yeah. flash So you're in and out in a flash. You're in and out right. in a flash. Yeah, that, that's the catch and release thing. That, that that's a proposition really 56, 57. And we have a lot of dead Americans. We have a lot of dead people. We have a lot of victims as a result of these uh, loose laws for punishing and restricting so, the criminal. Judging, judging from these from these laws, right, we can probably come to a conclusion. Okay. Our lawmakers either are jokers. They're out of focus. They are out of focus. They yeah. are no, no, not only out of focus. They are jokers. Yeah. Like in the, in a circuit, in a yeah. circuit, right? Right. They're the jokers yeah, with right. a big nose or right. something like that. Right. They are, number one, either jokers or they are criminal assistants. They are ex assisting criminals. Yeah. No, they are. They're facilitating criminal activity. Yes. If That's they right. are not assisting criminals, yeah. why would they, number one, release them lawfully, legally, out on the street? If well, they are not assisting criminals, why would they make the threshold? Okay, I yeah. heard a, a report that was a new finding yesterday. The championship of the most qualified criminals okay. was won by a guy, a wonderful guy, this is interesting. wonderful human being or animal being, whoever, yeah. who took a calculator himself, going to shoplifting, uh -huh. right, control himself exactly under $950. Oh, okay. See, now that's very, and that's a accident, very good point. Accidentally, now that's accidentally funny. this guy, some kind of was a, Sometimes were yeah. lose on his own track, right. own track though. Went over nine hundred and fifty. This is very so interesting. So, crimes were committed, right? Yeah. You know how many times had he been overboard of nine hundred fifty? I don't. Once. Ever ever since the law. Yeah. This model. Yeah. This model. This uh, man of the year or man of the state. Yeah. Right. Forty three times went over. Yeah. Finally, finally, thank God, he qualified. Yeah, wow. He went, went back to jail. Well, but this is a really good display that criminals don't have to be stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of very smart criminals, I'm not faking in white I'm not faking it. Right. You check the record of AM640. Uh, well, yes. Right? And it was reported yesterday, exactly, exactly yesterday, yeah. this guy, 43 times... times. Broke the record of 900, the new threshold yeah, of 950, of 950 yeah. to finally qualify being a glorified criminal. You know, Jack, you're a very, very bright man. Check my point. Check oh, my I point, will. my dear friend. But, yeah. The glorified criminal. You know, see, you're a very smart gentleman, and if you had sort of an evil soul, your brain would allow you to do some criminal activities uh, like conning older people or, you know, somebody, there's a lot of evil can be done with a bright person with a bad soul. And that's a real and part of reality. And those are, I mean, 
I told I told you that was the outstanding model. Yeah, right. That's the, was the most yeah. glorified hero yeah. of of amongst the, all the so-so average criminals. Average criminals, yeah. Right. He was so outstanding. He most time got away because he keeps kept himself under, under 950. Yeah. Accidentally, there were 43 times he went over. He yeah. finally qualified himself. My dear friend, my dear audience, my wow. dear fellow Californians, this is how crazy Californian laws are. California is a crazy state. It really is. I want to cry, baby. I don't blame you. Take me with. I feel so bad. You want to cry together with me? You know, it's California is a joke. This is a beautiful state we pay tax for. And this is the beautiful state I came here for. We have good weather. This is the beautiful state we call home. And bad government. We have good weather and poor government. Oh, man, we make laws like that? If you say the no marker law, no permanent marker yeah. laws, yeah. is a joke. Yeah. Somebody made the law when they were so sleep, so probably had a so headache. sleepy, <laughs> yeah. so sleepy, and the governor signed it as when he was out of mind for that very moment. Yeah. Though we can all excuse them with a generous mind because our voters of California are so generous minded. You can never excuse the creators of such laws, AB 109. Yeah. Proposition 47, Proposition 57, which are the ones that glorify criminals. Do God you bless. do you not agree with me? I do agree with you. It's such a joy to agree a with handshake. you, Jack. Such My a dear joy. friend, that concludes our show today, which went over time, but I would pay for it for the overtime. Thank you so much.